Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times and paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm, where I'm waiting for a couple of my fellow doomers to come up here for the week. Uh, here on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon, July 23rd, 2023, and I, I just can't help this, guys. Okay, what part of the two-word sentence, text me, do you not understand? Text me. And you can even expand that to text me or email me. I think my buddy has tried to call me. I have no idea what's going on. This is two grown men, very intelligent, college-educated friends of mine, I guarantee you that both of them have little various gadgets uh, with them. They probably have smartphones. They probably have laptop computers. My buddy uh, has probably, over the past hour, called me between 12 and 15 times. For whatever reason, we cannot have a telephone conversation in the year 2020. Ain't going to happen. We are not going to have a telephone conversation. Our, we, we, we ain't going to do it. So he calls me about three times. I say, text me. He calls me three more times without texting me and then hangs up when we can't connect. For the second time, text me. We obviously are having a failure to communicate. He calls me three or four more times. I text him. For the third time, text me or email me. Uh, th about three more attempts at a phone call, no text, no email. I send him a fourth text. For the fourth and last time, text me or email me. If you have something to say to me, I would say uh, since I left him that text uh, 30 minutes ago, he has called four more times. Uh, so, brother, I don't know what else to do with you. I'm going to let my two intelligent, college-educated friends with all of these little gadgets figure out a fucking way to say ham bone. This is what's going on. You know, uh, I, I have to admit uh, that I am morally... Uh, averse to texting. I have never texted on a smartphone in my entire life. I've never done it. Never in my life. But, so, but on Skype, what we're not communicating with, you know, texting is it's just like emailing. I just use my laptop keyboard, so uh, I don't mind texting on Skype. But anyway, I have no idea what is going on with my friends. I have no clue why these two college-educated, intelligent men, and probably with six gadgets between them, cannot, between the two of them, send me a fucking text or a fucking email in, in, in the fucking year 2023. But, but I'm fucking done with it. Uh, they will find their way here or not. But anyway, this is not what I came to rant about. I just uh, thought that was a humorous story, so uh, I'm just killing time waiting for my uh, textless buddies to arrive. So I'm over here on the uh, on the mainstream media, and the number one story. The number one story on the planet, Yahoo News from NBC News, 
the number one story on the planet on July 23rd, ready for another triple demic? CDC prepares for a winter of three bugs out there. <coughs> yes. Okay. We have Corona Panic, of course, Flu, of course, and now we have a third wolf outside the door called RSV. All right, and we have a new Omicron XBB version of Corona Panic, the EG.5. Yes, it's unclear what, if anything, the emergence of EG5 means. Hmm. The World Health Organization notes there's no evidence that it causes more severe illness. Yes. But do not worry. For the first time, for the first time this fall, the U.S. will have access to vaccines for another expected virus respiratory sensitive virus, or RSV. Yes. Guys, just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up with the fear-mongering. The number one fucking story on this planet in July of 2023, the fucking triple demic. Last year, I think it wasn't it last year, was the twin demic that never arrived. And uh, so, since they uh, failed to rile us up with, with their bullshit uh, promises of a twin demic last year, we get a triple demic. This year, but anyway, that's not even the story. I think this was the third biggest story on the planet. As long as we have air conditioning, hmm, Phoenix heat shows gap between U.S. rich and poor. So, you know, they start out talking to the little uh, privileged uh, honky rich bitches. Uh, this is a 32-year-old stay-at-home mother. As long as we have air conditioning, and as long as everyone is making smart choices, staying hydrated, going into the shade, staying cool, not overexerting themselves, I think it's tolerable. Yes. And so anyway, what they do is they, you know, they follow this little privileged uh, white uh, woman with her two kids in her air-conditioned SUV around Phoenix uh, while she's just shrugging it off. And then this reporter, this is from the French News Service, heads over to this trailer park. Uh, and <coughs> talks to a, uh, well, I thought I had a glass of water. Oh, well, this I will choke all the way through here. So they go from talking to this little uh, privileged honky to this, I guess this was a woman... Rosalia, age 37, who is raising five kids of her own in a single wide trailer with no air conditioning. And uh, 
talking about comparing being a single mother of five children living in a single wide trailer. I guess she came here from Mexico 19 years ago. I'm going to assume that 37 minus 19, uh, what is, what is that, that she had her for, that I'm, a, I'm going to assume she, she was probably pregnant when she came over here, and she has popped four more kids out of the oven since, uh, you, you know, getting her brown ass over the Rio Grande River, over to the safe side, you know, getting her brown ass over to Honkyville and ending up in a single wide trailer with no air conditioning in Phoenix, Arizona in the year 2023. Uh, anyway, I don't, I, I don't need to read this story. You can imagine what it sounds like so, uh, I decided, just because it's the type of guy I am, I wanted to see how easy it was going to be to get these little limp dick lefty snowflakes panties in a wad. You know, with all of this uncivil banter going on between the maggots, the, you know, the M-A-G-A-T's, the maggots on the right and the huff post uh, limp dick lefties uh, on the left you know this never-ending contest to see who can be the most hateful the most spiteful you know just the you know what I'm saying which side is it the right or the left it is uh, the most uncivil, and, you know, I, I remember getting into this discussion with my, uh, with my maggot friend uh, a few months ago, and of course, she was insisting vehemently, I might say venomously, it is the limp dick lefties, not not the reasonable right-wingers, uh, you know, who have a problem with immigration or whatever. It is those HuffPost, uh, you, you know, guzzling little limp dick lefty snowflakes, you know, that always preaching tolerance for other people and going around, you know, virtue signaling how open-minded and tolerant they are. So, uh, it is so fucking easy to trigger these little limp dick lefties. Uh, so this is how hard I had to work. This is how to trigger a little, you know, one of these little peace and love spouting how fucking tolerant you are uh, into a just a <coughs> toxic hate spouting fucking lunatic <coughs> that would make any fucking maggot uh, you, you know sound like uh, someone's grandma. So this was my comment. <coughs> talking about this poor Mexican woman with five kids living in a single wide trailer in a trailer park in Phoenix with no air conditioning. <clears throat> this is what Humpty Dumpty had to say. I just cannot help but wonder what kind of economic conditions this woman was living in before she had her first child, much less five of them. No doubt in a luxury air-conditioned mansion in Malibu. Another great mystery is where these kids' father, fathers is, are. 
my sympathies for the five kids, not so much for Mamita. And I sat around to wait to see how long it took, and uh, I was a little bit disappointed uh, over the next hour that I had eight thumbs up to uh, eight thumbs up to my comment to my comment uh, but none of them left a uh, you know left a comment in addition so uh, these are the three comments I don't know how many these, these are the first three comments that I received within 20 minutes <clears throat> This is from Marie. You, when I, I just cannot help but wonder, blah, blah, blah. You are wrong then. Who cares where the daddies are? At least she stayed to raise them. Get off your high horse and judge not. Remember what they say about pride and falling. Here was Pamela, the little limp dick lefty snowflake. Pamela, well, quit wondering. It's none of your fucking business. And then, of course, I knew it would not take long. It took about, I think, 22 minutes. Uh, anyway, from James. From James, I hope death, I hope death comes for you soon. We need less people. Since he doesn't know the difference between less and fewer, we need less people like you. <laughs> so if you want, if you want to get a little limp dick lefty snowflake uh, who loves all sorts of people and uh, has absolutely no problem with or questions regarding a, uh, <clears throat> a 37 year old single mother with five children living in a single wide trailer in Phoenix, Arizona, that uh, this is this woman's rightful, you know, she has every right to do this. Uh, it is nobody's fucking business. Anybody who just wants to question, uh, you know, the, the background story deserves to die. You have an opinion that, uh, that runs, you know, that ruffles these little fucking, uh, limp dick lefty snowflakes. It will not take long before they are calling for your death. And I guarantee you that James is one of these fucking little limp dick lefties who is opposed to capital punishment. 100% sure that, that, that this little fucktard is uh, opposed to capital punishment. And I guess if, if somebody went in that trailer park, put a bullet through this woman's head, killed all five of her children, James uh, would not think uh, the motherfucker who did it deserves to die. He would not be calling for that guy's death. Wouldn't happen. And, uh, but I deserve to die for asking the questions. I wonder what this woman's economic conditions were before she decided to have one, much less five kids, and where these kids' fucking fathers are. So I might have to start leaning towards my uh, my maggot friend 
and uh, I, I say it's a pretty even draw in the budding civil war but between these fucking, uh, you know, these right-wing maggots and these uh, little limp-dick lefty snowflakes. I don't have any fucking patience with, in, with either side. You know, fuck every one of them. Fuck the maggots. Fuck the left-wing uh, limp-dick lefty snowflakes. They're all a bunch of hate-spewing, toxic pieces of shit that we need fewer of. Anyway, with that, I am going to uh, make an attempt to go call my uh, grown men friends to see if uh, we can have a conversation, maybe they're in some town where they actually have cell phone service now. But anyway, guys, if someone tells you not once, not twice, not three times, but four times, okay, if, if you try to call somebody 14 times, you fail to have a phone conversation, and the person texts you four times, text me or email me, maybe you want, it might enter your mind, maybe I should text or email this person. Maybe we're having trouble having a phone conversation. I'm just throwing that out there. But anyway, I hope the Doomer meetup happens. So uh, get out there and enjoy your Doomer meetups while you still can. Bye, guys.